Will you join me in prayer? Our gracious Heavenly Father, we've set aside this time on this day once a year to perform our sacred duty of remembrance. Lord God, we thank you so much for the men and women who served so bravely and who gave the ultimate sacrifice to preserve the freedoms and liberties of our great and beloved country. We are eternally in debt to them. And in this ceremony, we honor them. We honor them and their great sacrifice on our behalf. We ask that you would pour out a blessing upon this service and particularly upon those who have served, are serving, and those families who have lost loved ones. And I ask this in the name of Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. We will now be led in the Pledge of Allegiance by Riley Kern. Please stand. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under all, individual, liberty, and justice for all. We will now have our national anthem sang by Kira O'Connell, Limburg, Limburg resident. She's 13 years old and she's from the Joseph C. Fox Latin School at Kellenberg. Welcome everybody here at the uh, Limbrook Memorial Day services and bearing the elements today and sticking it out with us. It means a lot to all the veterans. I'd like to, everyone to keep in mind what today is all about. Today is about those veterans who didn't make it home. The VFW and the American Legion and the Marine Corps League and all the veterans organizations becomes our duty to make sure that those people are never forgotten. We have an extremely special family with us today, and uh, you'll hear more about them later in the program. At this time, I'd like to have the mayor come up and say a few words. America has been protected by our brave military in all its wars and actions throughout our history. However, it would be like to, I would like to speak today about the current servicemen and women who protect America's interests throughout the world. Our military is deployed to more than 150 countries around the world, with over 300,000 of our active duty personnel serving outside the United States, including Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, Bulgaria, Kuwait, and Korea, to name a few. Our soldiers are deployed in moments' notice, leaving their families, their friends, 
their way of life here in America. Others protect our waters and borders against terror attacks on the sea and on the land. These men and women are first responders to the world. And remember those who gave the ultimate sacrifice and for those families that have lost and pray for the safety of those who choose to be our strength and protect our freedom we as Americans live under. God bless our servicemen and women around the world and God bless the America. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Along with all the veterans around you, and along with all the residents that are here today, we also like to introduce um, the commander of the American Legion, Hank Spiker. We have the uh, uh, commandant of the Marine Corps League, John O'Doherty, commander of the Limburg VFW, Patrick Nealon. We also have Mayor William Hendrick, Deputy Mayor Alan Beach, Trustees Amory Reardon, Trustee Hillary Becker and Trustee Mike Hawkshurst. Uh, I know Bill Gaylaw, um, our county legislator and Army veterans here. Also, Assemblyman Brian Curran is here. And we also have um, <clears throat> some other people in the audience that I, I don't know if here. But uh, I'd just like to thank everybody for coming out today. Um, it, it's uh, the support of these people and the support of the, and the veterans that are. Uh, Reminding them what it's all about and having their support is what makes uh, days like this possible. So moving on, we'll have a reading from the com commander of the American Legion, Hank Spike. Good morning. This poem was written during World War One and it's called In Flanders Field. It was written by Lieutenant Colonel John McRae. In Flanders fields the poppies blow, between the crosses row on row, that marks our place and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead, short days ago, we lived, felt, dawned, Set glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from falling hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders field. Thank you, and God bless the United States of America. We will now have a word from the Limburg VFW Post Commander, Patrick Neelan. Thank you all for joining us today as we honor our nation's fallen. We as Americans, we as Americans are truly blessed to be living in the greatest nation in the world. And for over 240 years, American servicemen and women have stood up and defended this defended this great nation and all its citizens against all threats at any cost. Today we pay tribute to all those who made the ultimate sacrifice in our defense. This year we are honored to have as our Memorial Day honoree Corporal Patrick Gallagher, United States Marine Corps. Of course, this is posthumous as Corporal Gallagher was killed in action in Vietnam in 1967. We have with us today on his behalf his niece, Colleen Irwin, to my left, and his niece, Terry McCormick, and his nephew, Patrick Walsh, and their family. If I may, I'd like to tell you a little bit about our honoree today. On 18 July, 1966, Corporal Patrick Gallagher, a Lindbrook, New York resident, along with the three other Marines were manning a defensive Riverside post when VC guerrillas ambushed them with grenades. Patrick kicked the first grenade out of the post before it exploded. A second grenade landed on the ground between two of his fellow Marines. Without hesitation and in an, in an act of supreme self-sacrifice, Patrick threw himself upon the grenade to save the lives of his, of his fellow Marines. Two more grenades landed and exploded, but remarkably, none of the Marines were wounded. 
The grenade Patrick threw himself upon had not detonated. So he rolled over, he picked it up, and he threw it in the river nearby. It exploded on impact with the water. For his actions that day, Corporal Gallagher was awarded the Navy Cross, the second highest award that can be bestowed upon a United States Marine. Corporal Gallagher continued his tour in Vietnam, and on 30 March 1967, near the end of his tour, Corporal Gallagher was one of eight Marines killed in an ambush at Day Lock near Da Nang. Now, four years before the Marine Corps in 1962, at the age of 18 years old, Patrick Gallagher immigrated to the United States from Ballyhonest, County Mayo, in Ireland. He lived with his aunt, Mrs. Mayburns, right here in Limbrook. He worked in real estate, he studied law in the evening. Corporal Patrick Gallagher, an Irish immigrant on a green card who lived, worked, and attended school in New York prior to being drafted, which included canvassing for Senator Robert Kennedy's senatorial campaign. He chose service over walking away. He offered himself to protect others. He gave his life for his adopted country. Patrick Gallagher and all of our fallen servicemen and women are owed a debt that can never be repaid. Their families have given us their sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles. In Patrick's case, there's a small gesture each of us can make to ensure a lasting tribute to his memory, his valor, and his heroism. For years now, there has been a swell of support to have a ship, namely a destroyer, named after him. Volumes of information can be found at patrickgallagherusmc.info. Information is on, is on the banner to our left. This website was established and is maintained by Patrick's family back in Ireland and here in Dallas, Texas. There is also a link to a petition which will be presented to the Secretary of the Navy. The Secretary of the Navy has the responsibility for naming uh, United States vessels. Please go to this website, click on the petition link, and sign the petition. It's very simple. This small gesture by each of us can be our way of saying thank you to one of Limbrook's sons, of, of one of Limbrook's fallen heroes, and Bally Hannes' fallen heroes. Again, I thank you for joining us today. May God bless you all. May God bless and watch over the men and women who serve our country today. And may God bless the United States of America. At this time, I'd like to ask Colleen Irwin and Kerry McCormick to come up and say a few words. Of Patrick Gallagher's family here in the United States and home in Ireland. We're truly honored to be here. We're so appreciative to all the efforts of everyone who's making this dream of ours possible and just showing up today to support this cause. Today we remember all of those men and women who sacrificed everything for us so that we can stand here today. We're truly honored to be part of Patrick's family and we're truly honored to live in this amazing country where we have men and women every day, all our service men and women who are serving us today to, to guarantee that continued freedom that we live by. Thank you very much for everything today, and God bless America. Thank you, Colleen. It's our honor to have you and your family here. We'll move the program along. We're going to have the POW MIA prayer by Steve Grogan. Okay. <laughs> Father, your son was a prisoner. Condemned, he died for us. Victorious, he returned to bring us the gift of life everlasting. Comfort us now in our longing for the return of all our prisoners of war and those missing in action. Help us, Father, 
Inspire us to remove all the obstacles to return our brothers and give courage to those who know the truth to speak out. Protect those who seek in secrecy. Help them to succeed. Show us the tools to do your will. Protect and bless those still in captivity. Let them all come home soon. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you. And also today, if you could, keep in your, in your prayers and in your thoughts some of the families. We lost some good men since last Memorial Day. Including Bob Becker, Francis X. Becker, Patrick Bruno, Jack Barlow. Those are just some of the great men of the American Legion and the VFW that we've lost since last Memorial Day. So if you can just keep them in your, in your thoughts and prayers, because they're in odds. We will now have the presentation of the wreaths. Detail! Present the wreaths! now have a special presentation of a wreath for Pat memory of Patrick Gatt. Miguel Pipe Band. We will now have the benediction. Let us pray. Alona God, it's been good to be here. To remember those who gave their lives 
for our freedom. For the men and women like Patrick Gallagher and their heroism, we praise you and thank you for such men. We thank you for the many who perform such deeds of heroism that we know of and the countless others that are known only to you. Lord, we ask your blessings upon the families who lost loved ones, comfort them continually, and Lord, we ask for your protection upon those who still serve. Watch over them and bring them back home. They say that one is not truly dead until they are forgotten. Lord, those who served, we have proved are not forgotten by this service. We thank you. We ask your richest blessings. In the name of Christ Jesus, amen. Better, Marine veterans, prepare your valley. This concludes our services here at the Doughboy. I want to, again, thank everyone for coming out. I want to especially thank everybody that participated to make today possible, especially Commander Patrick Nealon, who uh, all his legwork got the Gallagher family here. I'd like to thank the Glen Glenagale Pipe Band, the Limburg Police Department, the DPW, and, uh, you know, the, and the Limburg Fire Department, and just everybody that supports the veterans in this community. And uh, a lot of things, we're here, but a lot of things wouldn't happen without your support. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome back to the VFW. Good morning, my name is Patrick Walsh. I'm um, Corporal Gallagher's nephew. I would just like to thank Commander Nealon for having us today, for honoring his uh, sacrifice. I'd like to thank the entire VFW for inviting us to this beautiful service, the town of Lynbrook, and everyone that participated. I'd like uh, to thank all of our uh, servicemen and women who are currently serving, protecting our freedoms, and taking care of this country. Like, uh, just say God bless America and thank you again to everyone. <laughs>